Here at Drew Brew, we 3D it. In other words, we do it in 3D. And today, we're gonna 3D a nautical star, also known as a Texas star. And how do we go about this? <laughs> you have to learn how to smash that undo and redo button. Just watch this. And that completes our tutorial. And no, of course, look at this. Sometimes you don't get what you want, okay? It takes practice, it takes a lot of practice. That's why we're here, uh, not to make a starfish, by the way. But sometimes you don't always get what you want. But in this tutorial, you will get a nautical star. So let's start off by making those lines to make a certain shape that ends up as a triangle. And I mean, they could be different sizes, but as you saw with that starfish, not everything looks ideal. And uh, why do I choose 7.5 millimeters? Uh, just to make my life a little bit harder. But anyways, we get it to that edge. And then after that, instead of having to know a lot of numbers, we just delete the top. That makes our straight edge. And we just mirror over that side. And we connect them with union. And that just makes it easier for later. And what we have to do now is to make it look good. So what we're gonna do is color it. The nautical stars are usually black and white. I'm gonna add a little flavor. Uh, let's add some spice. Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna keep the spice on the bottom and black and white original. You'll see why later. <laughs> so what we do after that is we turn it. Uh, let's let's make it a star. So what do we get when we divide 360 divided by five? We get 72. So we gotta rotate each of those 72 degrees or 144 if we're doing the double. And we connect two and rotate them again. And we have our star. End of tutorial. Again. Uh, <laughs> So this is a really quick video, but I wanted to put another couple of features in there. So I just want you to follow along. Uh, let's make um, a pattern. A lot of people on Facebook were asking, how do we make a pattern? Like, you know, the aluminum sheet with the diamonds on it. So, I mean, this is not a diamond, this is a star, but same concept, you get the sharp edges. And then instead of a star, you could just, you know, make it one-sided or double-sided. But the point remains, so. As you can see, we have our star, and usually what do stars go on? They go either on a plaque, on a flag, or as we know, on those aluminum sheets with the friction diamonds. So, let's just make that rectangle. So we get our flag shape, and we're gonna copy it over. And let's see what looks good. Uh, 150 looks fine, so we're gonna stay with that, and we're gonna triple that number or double in this case actually, and then triple later. Uh, then we select all of them and we move them over. So instead of having to do one at a time, you just select all of them and move them over. And then to make it even better, select them all. Because Shaper yet doesn't have an automated feature, which I don't know if it will, but uh, let's just continue on with that. And basically this can go on a pretty infinite amount, except for when your RAM cuts out and you start freezing like crazy. But uh, for our purposes, I think this shows what a successful, you know, automatic kind of style addition would do. And uh, so, see, that's why I added the red. Look at that. It looks beautiful with that color combination. Uh, this would make a really nice product if someone needed it. Anyways, though, let me go back a little bit and just show you what else we can do. We can do uh, like a shoulder pad. Uh, make sure you do that new body because if you don't, it'll merge and then you won't be able to edit it as easily. Uh, this is where making duplicates of your files comes in handy. Uh, but let's make him uh, a little bit different color so we can make it look original. Uh, that looks really good actually. So you can make a shoulder pad. And I mean, let's be generous. Let's make this guy a three-star general. <laughs> so he's gonna be happy about that. Let's copy it over one more time. And piece of cake. So this is one way to make patterns. And uh, I hope you learned something from this video. I know it's not too long. It's short and sweet. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.